Hello, good evening. Hello. Hi, everyone. Good evening. How good are evening. you? Good evening, teacher. Hi, Maricela. How is everyone doing? Are you doing a good? Are you doing well? Yes. Okay, that's excellent. What did you do today, Rafa? Excuse me? What did you do today? Uh, very good. ¿Y qué hizo? Uh, what? How much? Uh, uh, um, mucho trabajo. <laughs> Uh -huh. You uh, can say, I had a lot of work. Okay. Uh -huh. What time do you finish mm. working? Uh, for, for 20. For 20. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, it's not that bad. It's, it's good. Um, before I continue, guys, I need to take the attendance really quick. So I'm going to start with Daisy Mesquita. Daisy, Daisy Yesenia. Present. Thank you. Doris de Castaneda. Iris Joanna. Jennifer Marcela. Jose Mario. Present. Katia, thank you. Katia Gabriela. Lisette del Carmen, Maricela del Carmen. Present. Thank you, Mauricio Castaneda, Minette Rivera, Nehemías Regalo, Nelson Alberto Aguirre, Nelson René, Rafael Antonio. Present. Thank you, René Guardado. Present. Rosy Meléndez. Vladimir Rodas. Yanira Lisette. Present. Thank you, Yanni. En Zulma Lorena. Ok. Sí, sí la mencioné, Rina. But, okay. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Aquí la agrego. Y como cuando estoy viendo la lista no veo el, el, la pantalla acá, pues no logro ver. Okay, everyone, welcome. I hope that you had a good day. I'm going to send you, well, to some of you, I'm going to send a message. Okay, so just give me one second. Let me send it really quick. Okay, Mario, this one is going to be for you. Don't say it, okay? It's, it's a secret. It's just between you and I. Now, let me see. Rina, you're going to receive a message. Okay, that's the one for you. And let's see, Jani, I'm going to send you a message too. It's going to be, okay, the one that you see. Each one of you, Rina, Jani, and Mario, you have received a message that contains an occupation or a profession. The idea, is that your classmates can discover, they can discover the secret identity or your occupation, okay? La idea es que tratemos de descubrir la ocupación de unos de sus compañeros. I have something here that is going to help us. Keep me one moment. Okay, so here you have some ideas some ideas about questions you can ask Tina, Mario, or Jani. 
And they can give you, the questions can give you an idea about the occupation or profession. If you want to, you can ask your own, your own ideas, okay? Aquí tienen un modelo, ideas, para que les dé una idea de qué preguntar, pero si no, ustedes pueden preguntar su propia pregunta, valga la redundancia, okay? So, Rina, Jani, and Mario. We're going to start with Mario, okay? I need you to please try to discover the, the identity, Mario's identity. Okay, so let's start with Zulma. Zulma, can you ask him a question, please? You can choose any of those questions, Zulma. Una, busque o, o escoja una de las preguntas para Rina. La idea es que con la, las respuestas que ellos den, ustedes traten de encontrar la profession or occupation. Ok. Ajá. Uh, Rina, do you like your house? Do you like your job? Okay, so we will start with Rina in that case. Rina le mandé un mensaje, ¿verdad? Las respuestas que usted ve están basadas en esa ocupación, no en la que tiene actualmente, la real. Do you, do you understand, Rina? Sí entiende la dinámica. Um, ¿cuál, es, ¿Cuál es el mensaje? Que no... Ah, no, lo, no le cayó. Uh, aquí él solo veo que dice no diga no, es un secreto ok let's change it sí, esa es su occupation pero es un secreto sus compañeros Sorry. van a tratar de adivinar ok, let me change it mm. ok Se la voy a mandar en un ratito. Ok, empecemos entonces con Mario. Okay. Mario has his occupation. Can you ask Mario questions? Okay. Rafa, are you ready? Uh, Mario, uh, do you sit at desk? Do you sit at a desk? Eh, Mario eh, Teacher, tengo bien uh -huh. mala la, la señal Ah, siento, ok, no, okay. La escucho. ok, vamos entonces con Yanni No problem, Mario Yanni, are you there? Sorry. It's ok Ok, teacher. Eh, Yanni, ¿sí entendió cómo funciona la dinámica? Eh, en, lo que entendí fue, eh, vaya, escojo a la persona eh, y le pregunto cuál es su, por ejemplo, do you like you, yo? Uh, no, Yanni. Oh. Usted recibió un mensaje de mí. Ya lo vio. No lo diga. Don't say what you got. Solo dígame si sí ve un mensaje que le mandé. Mm, eh, acá en el chat. Ajá. ¿Estamos? Yes. Eh, lo estaba buscando en otro lugar. <risa> oh, ah, ok, ok, ok. Sí, Bye. yes. Ok, esa es su occupation. Ok. Sus compañeros okay. van a tratar de descubrirla y le van a hacer preguntas de oh. las que están acá. ¿Usted solo dice yes ah. or no? Ok. Ok. Perfecto. All right. eh, so, tengo que escoger a un compañero. Ellos, ellos le van a preguntar a usted. Ah, ok. Ajá. Ah, ok. Ok, okay. perfecto. So we start with Rafa. Ok, Rafa, what is the question for Jani? Ok. 
Jani, do you see a red? Do you see no. a red? No. No. Uh -huh. uh, do you like your job? Do you no. like your job? No. No. Okay. No. okay. Do you have to work at night? No. No. Oh. Okay. Uh, do you work with many people? No. no. Okay, Jani. Oh. All right. Thank you. I don't know if I will say no to all this the questions, but she was a, a scientist. That was the secret occupation. Let's let's try one more time. Okay, Katia, I'm going to send you the message, Katia. Okay, you're going to get it there. Okay, Katia, that's ten, your ten, 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 ten. it's your occupation. Nine, ten, ten, ten. And now your classmates are going to ask you questions. Rene, what about you? Can you ask her a question? Ask Katia a question? Sure. Okay. Um, do you have to study a lot to get your job? Mm, yes, I do. Okay. I'm All right. going to stop you, Rene, but thank you. Yeah. Let me ask, can you ask another question? Uh, do you have to work at night? Sometimes. Okay, all right. Thank you. Okay, another question, Vladimir. Um, is your job dangerous? Uh, no entendí. Is your job dangerous? Do you know that word, Katia? Dangerous? Sí, peligroso. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, is dangerous. Okay, all right. Uh, Do you have an idea? Uh -huh, yes. If you and have an idea, you can in also your job, it. use helmet. Helmet is a protection of the head, Kat. It's a mm -hmm. protection that you use in the head. Helmet. Yes. 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 I... yes. Um, okay. No. no. Uh -huh. But no, it's not an engineer. Okay, thank you. Who has another question for Katia? Try to discover the occupation. Anyone? Katia, uh -huh. do you have uh, do you have to wear a uniform for your job? Yes. <laughs> Solo digo yes, pero <laughs> uh -huh. okay. Fire, fire. Is the no, police? No, Nemia. No, Rafa. That's not the occupation. Nelson, Nelson Guevara, can you ask her a question? I don't hear you, Nelson. I, I don't know if that's the connection. Or... Here, here, here. Okay. Okay. Can you ask one question? One of the ones you see over here. Um, okay. Yes. Uh, do you have to work at night? Yes, I am la preguntaron, verdad? Uh huh. I think you said yes. I remember sí. that is. What uh, you said. Sometimes, yes. Ah, sometimes. Okay. Okay, next question, Daisy. Next question for Katia. Um, do you work with many people? 
Mm. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. And Rene, do you have another question for her? Jani? Zoom? Let's see. Do you work with many people? Yes. Okay. We have just yes, but. Uh -huh. So what <laughs> is your occupation? It is difficult to, to try to guess uh, about the occupation. Always should she uh -huh. say yes. Is that the answer? <laughs> it is possible that maybe she can give us more information like uh, for example, in this question, if she works with many people, what kind of people is, is, is or the, maybe the ones that she works? Can you modify the question and can you try to ask a specific question to get to that point? Because you can ask your oh. own questions. Think about it. Let's see, Nehemiah. All right. Is not the one you sent, Nehemiah? Do you have another question? For her? Is your heart stressful? Mm. Opinion personal, verdad? Considero que no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Right. Do you have an idea? Sulma, do you have a question for Katia? Katia, is your heart cold? One more time, Sulma. Uh, is your heart young? Hmm. Very strong. Uh -huh. Is your job fun? fun. No, no, it, it's not. Do you give up, Serrinden? Do you give up or do you have a question um, for Kat? Do you drive? Do you drive? No. Hmm. Depende. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. Okay. Uh, do you work on the street or or in the office? <laughs> ni una ni la otra. Oh my god. <laughs> I know. Chica. Okay. <laughs> uh, but it's it's common. It's not that that rare. But if you don't also, work on the street or at home, maybe? No. <laughs> no? Okay. On a supermarket? No. In a restaurant? Wow. Restaurant? No. In hospital? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. In your job, your uh, drive? Mm, eso sería depende de la situación, verdad? Okay, I can tell you. <laughs> si quieren, les digo. Give them something. Okay, give them a clue, Katia. Del, del una pista. Give them a clue. Bay, ¿cómo se dice? Vehículo. You can say cars or vehicles. Car. Cars. Cars. Tiene que mm -hmm. ver con cars. Mechanic. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí. That's the one. Congratulations. All right. Congratulations. Yeah. You made it. Thank you. Okay, guys. Welcome. Hi, Mari uh, Mauricio. Doris, welcome. 
So today we are going to review. Ahora hay review prácticamente, ¿verdad? Así que vamos a estar practicando lo que hemos visto. Eh, we're going to study how much, how many, and simple present all together. I'm going to share with you pictures. Maybe you remember these pictures. We saw them last in the last module. The idea is that with these pictures, you create sentences. We're going to start with Rina. Rina, pick one activity and make one sentence. Con una de estas pictures, cree una oración. It could be about you or about somebody else. Puede ser real o ficticia de usted o de alguien más, Rina. But choose one of the activities. Uh, Rina? Are you there? Ah, okay. Aquí estoy pensando. Ah, okay. Okay. Is there anybody ready now? O hay alguien que ya esté listo? Le vamos a dar tiempo a Rina to structure the sentence. Okay. Podría decirla yo. Ajá, yes, yes, you can. Um, sería la número uno. Number I one. get up. Uh -huh. I get up. Mm. Every day. Every day. You okay. get up every day. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, that could be one. Thank you. Jani, do you have a, a sentence? Puedo decirla. Ah, yes, yes. Trina, if you're ready, go ahead. I take a shower in the door. Uh -huh. You take a shower in the mornings, in the nights. Uh, in the Or, morning. Thank you. Si pueden, traten de agregarles phrases de las que estudiamos. Frequency phrases. Pueden agregar, si ustedes quieren, time. Todo, ¿verdad? Un mix de todo lo que han visto. Ok, let's continue. Zulma, can you create one sentence? Um, I took a bueno, la two. Number two. I, I, uh -huh. I take a shower in every day. You take a shower every day in the morning. Yes, Sulma. Thank you. Mauricio, one, one sentence. <clears throat> Number two. <clears throat> Mr. Gonzalez takes a shower at 7 a.m. At 7 a.m. And, mm -hmm. and enjoy it. Estaría bien así, mm -hmm. lo disfruta. And, and enjoys it. And Correct. Enjoys. Thank you. Maricela, can you create one sentence, please? Um, number five, 15, I go to sleep and no, it's up 10 o'clock every day. Every day. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Maricela. Okay. Doris. Can you create one sentence? I. Desayuno, como se dice? Eh, take, take breakfast or have breakfast. Uh, I eat. Take break, breakfast. Mm -hmm. Morning. Bueno, eh, In them. Them. In, it's okay. At seven o'clock. At seven o'clock. Every day, every morning. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Jani, can you continue, Jani? Please. Hello, Jani. Hola, <laughs> sería la número ocho. Number eight. Ajá. Uh -huh. Eight. What is oh. the sentence? <laughs> oh, eh, I am 
Maquillens today. Morning. Ok, Jani, thank you. Le voy a ayudar un poquito. I, solo el, el subject. I put on makeup. I put on makeup. makeup. Oh, makeup. No problem, ahorita estamos en review. Let's change. Vamos con negative sentences. Only negative sentences. Ok, Nehemías. One sentence, please. I negative don't one. shave mm -hmm. every day. Correct, thank you. René, next. Um, negative sentence. Um, let's see. I like to go. No, let me think. I go to bed. Okay, I go to bed around 10, uh, 10 p.m., but mm -hmm. I don't fall asleep until 12 p.m. Yes. Okay, thank you, Renee. Katia? Continue, Katia. One negative sentence. And then Mario. Uh -huh. Una preguntita, siempre yes, basándonos uh, en, en las imágenes. Uh -huh. yeah. ah, oh, no, 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 Mauricio. Aquí tiene una idea, pero si usted quiere hacerla distinta, it's ok. Sorry, Podría Katia. Ser, uh -huh. Podría ser, um, I don't listen music on Mondays. Aha. Uh -huh. Just remember the preposition to. I don't listen to music. I don't listen to mm -hmm. music. Okay. okay, thank you. Mario, one negative sentence. Here you have ideas. We we studied this last, last month, right? I don't read a book. You don't read books. Okay, thank you. Now, Alberto, are you there, Alberto? I think he's not there. Nelson, and you? Okay. Uh, I don't, I don't brush my tea when I wake up. Uh huh. Thank you, Maricela. And you can send more ideas in the chat too, guys. If you want to, you can send more ideas by chat. Yes, Maricela. One negative sentence. I don't know. I don't. Como no tener niños, ¿cómo sería? I don't have, have. children. Mm -hmm. I don't have children. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. That could be a negative sentence. Thank you, Maricela. Daisy, can you continue? Yes, Maria. I don't get up at 8 o'clock in the morning. Yes, Daisy. That's good. Vladimir, next. I don't like watch TV why take my breakfast. Mm, really? Why not? not just like. because. Just because. Just because. Okay, thank you. Just add ing. I don't like watch I don't like to watch TV while taking taking my breakfast. Thank you, Vladimir. Okay. Doris. Can you create a negative sentence? I don't like read. I don't like to read. When you have two verbs, that is two in the middle. Mm -hmm. I don't like to read. Yes. Okay, now Rafa. Um, we're going to study third person now. Doesn't. Negative sentences with he, she, or it about your family, family members. Maybe it could be about a pet, okay? Ahora sobre alguien más, puede ser un familiar o un amigo, okay? Mm -hmm. So, Rafa. Uh, 
Uh, for example, uh, Henry doesn't watch TV in the weekly. All right, thank you. Now let's see, Jani. One negative sentence with he, she, or it. Uh, uh, repeat, teacher. One negative sentence, Jan. Una oración negativa. One negative sentence. With he, she, or it. Con cualquiera de esos tres. He, she, it. It, she, it. Ajá, con cualquiera de esos sujetos. Mm. No, teacher, ahorita. <risa> eh, ¿Necesita ayuda? Sí. Uh -huh. Dígame cómo le ayudo. ¿Se le ha olvidado la estructura o...? Sí, la... La estructura. La, la estructura. Uh -huh. Ok, let me, let me put it here. We are using simple present. Simple present. And... When you create a sentence, Jani, you need subject, subject, verb, and complement. Okay. Estas son las partes que componen la oración. Subject, verb, and complement. One example, my mom, in the negative form, we use doesn't. My mom doesn't. Vamos a copiar la carta. Doesn't like to, doesn't like movies, for example. Mm -hmm. That is the structure, Jan. Think about mm -hmm. one. Piensa en una oración y cuando esté lista me dice. Ok. Ok. Ajá, uh -huh. please. Zulma, one negative sentence, please. She does running in the park. One more time. She. She does. She doesn't. Doesn't, perdón. She doesn't yes. run, running in the park. She doesn't run in the park. Yes. Okay. In the park. Maricel. Hola, teacher. One. One negative sentence. Um, así como José mm -hmm. da, da, doesn't, doesn't. Mm -hmm. play basketball. Play basketball. And um, okay. weekend, en fin de semana sería? On the weekends. On the weekend. On the weekends, yes. Thank you. So if you remember, I sent these. Um, is presentation or pictures by chat. If you want to, I can send it again if you lost it. So you can check it out. Okay, it has different verbs. Okay, I'm going to remove the screen. Let's continue. Okay, Jani, did you think about the about the sentence? Pensó en alguna oración, Jani? Eh, ahorita estoy en esa ah. picture. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Guys, do you have questions? Is there something that you would like to ask? This moment? No. Okay. So I'm going to share with you. Um, it's a, a worksheet about two daily routines. The first one is about Mr. Miller. And I'm going to share it with you. We have some questions to answer about Mr. Miller. I'm going to read it first and then two or three of you are going to read it again. Mr. Miller, I am an English teacher and I have a big family. So I have a very busy daily routine. First, 
I get up every day at six o'clock. Get washed and dressed and leave for work by 7.30. I get to school at eight o'clock. I prepare my lessons and then teach until noon. The other teachers and I always eat lunch and talk together in the teacher's room. I teach again in the afternoon and then I correct my students homework and tests. After I get back home, I help my kids with their homework. I have three kids in elementary school. Their names are Matthew, John, and Susie. Then I do some exercise, eat dinner with my family, and watch TV before I go to bed at about 10 o'clock. We love to watch travel shows. I read in bed for a few minutes before I fall asleep. Okay, maybe you remember that we did something similar in the previous lesson, so we will practice a little bit more. Okay, let me see. Katya, can you read the first part of this, the first lines? Okay. I'm an English teacher and I have a big family. So, so I have a very busy day, busy daily mm -hmm. routine. First, I get up every day at six, six o'clock, get washed, washed mm -hmm. and dressed. And I leave for work by 7.30, I get, I get to school at eight o'clock. I prepare my lessons and then. Okay, thank you. Let's continue Nehemias, please, with the next lines. Okay. Teach until noon. The other teacher and I always eat lunch and talk together in the teacher room. I teach again in the afternoon and then I correct my student homework and test. After I get back home, I help my kids with their homework. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Nehemias. And now, Rene, will you read the last part of the reading? of their routine. Okay, um, I have three kids in elementary school. Their names are Matthew, John, John and Susie. Mm -hmm. Then I do some exercise. Okay. Eat dinner with my family and watch TV before I go to bed about 10 o'clock. We love to watch travel shows. Finally, I read in bed for a few minutes before I fall asleep. Okay, thank you very much. Let's now, do you have questions guys about the vocabulary? Is there something you would like to ask related to the reading or the pronunciation? Katia, do you have a question? Mm, sí, elementary Ajá. school sería como bachillerato. No, high school. High school is bachillerato. Elementary is like, imagine third grade, fourth grade, como cuarto, tercero, fifth okay. grade. Mm -hmm. So around that. Yes, Nehemias, do you have a question? Uh, yes, uh, until, uh, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Until. Until. Okay. Thanks. Just the pronunciation, that is what you wanted to know. Ah, oh, okay. 
Okay, any other questions? No? In no. Spanish, teach uh -huh. until noon. Aha, uh -huh. until it means, I will try to tell you in English first. Until means that you stop, that you stop the activity. And in this case, noon, it means 12 p.m. So I prepare my lessons and then I teach and stop. I, I finish or until it's like hasta. Okay, you stop the activity mm -hmm. at noon, 12 p.m. That is what it means. Okay. Okay, so thank you. I have, you're welcome. I have questions here for you. Number one, let's start with Mario. Mario, question number one. What job does Mr. Miller have? What is his occupation, Mario? Mm, the occupation, mm, Mr. Miller is teacher. <laughs> uh, yes, uh -huh. just repeat the way that you said it. Repeat the sentence, Mario. Podrías repetir la oración? Could you repeat the structure? Creí que me estaba preguntando. Ah, no. Can you, can you repeat the way you said it? What job does Mr. Miller have? Ajá. ¿Y cuál es, es la respuesta? Y sí. Sí, es la persona. No, pero sí te pregunté. Sí te pregunté. Solo te pedía que repitieras la respuesta que me habías dado la primera vez. Uh -huh. The occupation, Mr. Miller, is teacher. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Thank you, Mario. Is there any other option, guys? How can we answer that? Do you have uh, another idea? Aha. Uh -huh. The Mr. Miller occupation is English teacher. Aha, uh -huh. that is another possibility. Mr. Miller's. Miller's occupation is a teacher. That is one possibility. You can also say he is a teacher or he works, he works as a teacher, an English teacher. Okay, thank you. Now, question number two. Vladimir, is he a busy person? Yes or no? And why, why do you say that? Perdón, teacher, ¿cuál es la pregunta? Is he... Is he a busy person and why? Do you remember ah, the word busy? Uh, yes, 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 yes. Sí. Uh, he is um, a busy person, but um, his teacher is, um, he have a big family. Mm -hmm. um, in the school, um, cali califica las tareas y evaluates y los exactos. or checks, uh -huh. homework uh, and tests. And after that school, um, he have. Uh, different uh, activities 
eh, como eh, hace ejercicio ¿Mm? en la televisión con uh, el el <laughs> Ok. Ok, thank you. Uh -huh. He has yeah, many that's... activities, right? Many activities to do. Thank you, Vladimir. Daisy, question number two. What time does Mr. Miller get up in the morning? Mr. Mr. Miller, at six o'clock. Aha, yes, that's the one. He gets up at six, six o'clock. Okay, Daisy, thank you. Thank you very much. Rafa, next. Question number three. Who does Mr. Miller have lunch with? Who does Mr. Miller have lunch with? Uh, do you, do you she has she has a um, lunch ten o'clock. But who who with? No sé si recuerda qué significaba cuando it. iba who with. Uh, no. Con quién? Who with? The person or the people lunch with? You do an activity with. What do you think? Who does Mr. Miller have lunch? Uh, Eat his food. You, you, can you, with, with family? With your family? Uh, okay, Rafa, thank you. It is different. It is different, but we will help you. Nelson, what do you think? Question okay. number three. Um, uh... He have lunch with your family. With his family. Yes. Mm, it's different, Nelson. But thank you. Let's try with Doris. What do you think? Are you there, Doris? Or Sulma? Well, 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 well. Number three. Who does Mr. Miller have lunch with? No. Oh, teacher. Hola. Con, con los teachers. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> sí, yes. Lunch. Uh -huh. So what sí. is, how can you structure Lunch. the answer? Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo sería la respuesta entonces? He? Uh, he has lunch with teachers. With teachers. Uh -huh. with, uh, with other teachers. Uh -huh. He has lunch, lunch with other teachers. Yes, that will be the, the answer. Number four, let's see, Maricela. What does he do after he helps, sorry, after he helps his, his kids? with their homework. What does he do? Um, uh, 
sería... No la hago. Ok, that's fine. Katia, can you help Maricela? Do you have an idea? Um, on this onward, after I get bad hands. That's the she. He. 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 Her. Uh, is kid after a uh, get bad count. Mm, it's different. It is different, Maricela. Yeah. But thank you. Uh -huh. What do you think? He, he was dream. He watches. What? He watches this? TV. And there are other activities. There are two other activities too. He is uh, uh -huh. travel shows and read <laughs> in bed. Uh, yes, it's something like that. Just the structure, I will say, Katia. Uh, yes, Nehemiah. He do some exercise. Uh -huh. So we can say he, he does exercise, watches the video. In family and and eats dinner with his family, right? That would be the answer. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Number five. Now, Naomi, yes, it's your turn. What kinds of TV shows that does he love to watch? What kind of TV shows, Naomi? Ten o'clock. Ah, esta creo que no se las he enseñado, ¿verdad? What kind of. What kind of significa qué tipo de. Como cuáles, se parece a cuáles. What kind of TV shows does he like to watch? No, teacher, no, no. Oh, okay, no problem. Let me check. Do you have an idea? What kind of TV shows does he love to watch? Eh, ya la encontré. Ajá. Uh -huh. What eh, do He loves to watch travel shows. Exactly. Ajá, uh -huh. it's over here. We love to watch travel shows shows oh, that's the end yes. okay now it is your turn if you look at this on the second page now we have miss smith you have her routine and you have five questions you are going to work in groups you're going to work in groups you're going to read it and then answer it okay so i'm going to divide you in in groups of three let me, let me assign you right now. And at nine or before nine, I'm going to bring you back so we can take the attendance. Igual antes de las nueve los voy a, a traer acá. So let's see, Daisy. Daisy work with Doris and Katia. Daisy, Doris, Katia. Next, Mario. Maricela and Mauricio. Number three, Nehemias, Nelson René, and Rafa. Then we will have René, Rina, and Vladimir. René, Rina, and Vladimir. I'm sorry, Eso teacher. Um, the routine is the, the, the file that you sent it, uh, to us before. 
in yes, the WhatsApp I, group. Uh -huh. Where it says routine D5, I think it says. Go to the second page. Okay. You're going to find me. Okay, got it now. Okay, so Thank please you. open the room. Hi, Jenny. Who's that? Yes. Hello. Eh, le iba a preguntar si quería que la asignara a un grupo o quería quedarse aquí conmigo y le ayudar en algo o quería solo escuchar la clase. Porque sí entiendo que no se siente muy bien ahorita, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, lo lamento. Eh, escuchar ahorita. Solo va a escuchar. Ok, Jenny. La voy a mandar a un yes. grupo o la voy a dejar aquí. Ya vamos a regresar. O, okay. o mándame un grupo para escuchar. Ok, la voy a enviar ahí. Give me one second. Thank you. You're welcome, Jenny. And René, did you receive the invitation? No, I didn't. It doesn't pop up. But let me see, I think that I have it here. Maybe maybe you rejected it by mistake. I'm going to send you to one group and then I'm going to send you to the right one. <laughs> so. I go in the back. I don't write to work. I take it about. It only takes about 20 minutes to get to work. Okay, see you. After work, I like to go to my favorite bakery. And buy some fresh bread. I get home between five o'clock. Poner las preguntas que están ahí. Sí. Vaya, aquí dice Mr. Smith. Espera, alguien se me trabó todo, mi prima. Hi, do you need help or not yet? Necesitan ayuda o todavía no? No, no creo que. No. Solo vamos a leer el párrafo y de igual forma vamos a responderle. Y ustedes van a, ajá, lo mismo que hicimos allá, pero ahora con, con otra rutina. Yes. Uh -huh. Mauricio, ¿qué tal va? ¿Cómo se siente? Si no lo saco y me lo llevo uh -huh. al otro room y, y le doy un medio <ríe> review. Fíjense que el problema que tengo ahorita es que no logro abrir ese archivito para poder ver. No sé, me parece que esta, esta, el ¿Y formato sí? de Word es muy avanzado al, al, a la versión que yo tengo Pero acá. Es, porque, ah, ¿Es el mismo que he utilizado en el módulo pasado? Sí, lo único que hoy me han prestado aquí una computadora. Ah, ah por eso. Sí. ¿Y si lo abre en el teléfono? Voy a intentar. Exacto. Ok, so I'm going to let you continue. Bueno, ahorita creo que vamos a, a ir a tomar la asistencia y luego continúa. Ya después ya. No, no, sé. Sí. no sé si gusta que le... Hola. No sé si gusta que en el grupo le escriba el texto para que lo copie. Ah, si usted lo puede compartir. El grupo. Uh -huh. En el grupo ya... La... Hi, I'm just going to take the attendance and then I'm going to send you again to the room to, to practice. I'm just going to wait for your classmates to come back. And then we start.
Okay, so I think that now everyone is, is over here. Um, we're missing Daisy, Daisy and Doris. Okay, so we start with Daisy, Daisy Yesenia, Present. Doris de Castaneda, Doris, Iris Joanna, Jennifer Marcela, Jose Mario, Present. Thank you, Katia Gabriela, Present. Lisette del Carmen, Maricela del Carmen. Present. Thank you, Mauricio Castaneda. Minette Rivera. Nehemías Regalo. Present. Present. Thank you. Nelson Alberto. Nelson René. Present. Rafael Antonio. Present. Rene Guardado. Okay. Rina. Present. Rosa. Okay. Present teacher. Bye. Thank you. Rosy Maybelline. Vladimir Antonio. Present. And Janira. Thank you. Janira Lisset. And Zulma. Zulma Lorena. Present. Okay. Present. Thank you. All right. You can, you can go back. Return to your room. Thank you. Hi, Joa, welcome. I'm going to assign you to a group. We are working on the worksheet I sent on the chat and they have just started. You have to read an article and then you have to answer some questions. So I'm going to send you to room three. 20 minutes. Hi, I'm going to be here a moment. I'm just going to hear you, okay? But you, okay. you can you can continue. Okay. Bueno, en esta vamos. How long does it take Mrs. Smith to get to work? Uh, uh, Yo creo que sería esta parte. Dice yeah. que le toma alrededor. It, 20, 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Uh -huh. Work. It's work. Mm -hmm. oh, no. No. Y entonces, she takes, she takes, she, 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 Para mí sería she takes. Eh, no será she does. She does. She takes uh, twenty minutes. She does.
Hi, Nelson. Welcome. Se le había ido la señal. Nelson, are you there? No. Nelson. Ok. Eh, eh, flores en su jardín. Ya entendí. How are you doing? Is it going well? Yeah. Sí. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to stay here Good. just just to listen to you a moment. Okay, but you can continue. Okay. Her hobby is growing flowers. Number five. What does Miss Smith do in the evening? We take Wolfie for a walk, for a walk, and then get to the bed by 9.13 because we have to get up so early in the next morning. Uh, in the evenings, we take Wolfie for a walk. Las cinco es que hace Mr. Smith en la noche, ¿verdad? Ajá, en la tarde. De tarde noche um, eh, saca a pasear a su mascota que es Wolfie perrito in the evenings we take walk walk a walk sería uh, she take Bueno, yo le puse she her dog Wolfie for a walk. Mm. Que sería una de las actividades que saca la mascota a caminar. Um, y luego se va a dormir. Hi, Marcel. How are you? I'm fine. Voy a ser parciales hoy. No. Sí, oh, acabo de terminar, por eso me acabo de conectar. Ay, ¿Qué tal estuvo? Fácil. Nueve. Más o menos. No. Ah, ok. Eh, your classmates are working on an activity, Marce. I sent a worksheet by chat. No sé si notaste que envié una, un documento en WhatsApp. Eso es lo, en lo que ellos están trabajando. Estamos en día de review, pero ya en como en un minuto van a regresar. De igual okay. forma, así que ahí va a mencionarte que lo hicieras, pero creo que ya, ya, ya no. Uh -huh. I'm to, to send them here in a moment. But yeah, pretty much we are reviewing. We are reviewing simple present and how many and how much. That is what we are doing, Marcel. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm going to let them know so they can come back here. Did you finish, Rina? Yes. Okay. We just have to wait for your classmates to come back. And when they come back, we are going to confirm or double check the answers. <clears throat> okay.
Okay, now that everyone is back, we are just going to confirm that we have the same information. And if you have questions, you know, you can, you can ask. Okay, so group number one, Daisy, what do you have? Why does Miss Smith get up very early every morning? Because she does like to go uh, walking along the beach and I know she says watches or is it watch very soon, right? Okay, Daisy, thank you. We're going to check that in a moment. Uh huh. Thank you. And group number two, Jose Mario, what do you have? Number one, do you have the same as Daisy or is it different? What is the answer that you have? Because she likes going around the beach and watch the sunrise. Uh huh. Okay. So yes, that's that's the answer. Let me just just add it here. One one more. So, because she likes, you can say, to jog or to go jogging and watch, watches the beach. So that is what we should have, number one. She likes to go jogging and she likes to, to watch the, the sunrise. Uh, okay, wait, give me a moment here. Let's leave it with the ED, sorry, with the base form because we have to just put it like that, to watch. And to watch the, I'm sorry, sunrise. Okay, number two, let me see. Doris, where does Miss Smith work? Where does she work? Where? Where does Miss Smith work? Um. Mrs. Smith works in bank. In a bank? In a bank. Mm, is in a different place, Doris? But she thank does you. Work in a bank. In a where? I'm sorry. Where? Uh -huh. Donde? Where? Donde? See. Sí. She does work in a bank. In a bank. Uh, it's not it's not in a bank, Doris, but thank you. We will check in this moment. Mauricio, what does your group have? Where does she work? Um, Mrs. Smith works in, uh -huh. in bank. Uh -huh. near uh -huh. I'm sorry, it's true. She works in a bank. Thank you, Doris. My mistake. Yes. She works in a bank. Thank you. That's correct. Number three. Let's continue with Nelson. How long does it take Miss Smith to get to work? Okay. Uh, she take about twenty minutes to get to get to work. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Just the structure will be a little bit different. It takes her about twenty minutes. But yes, uh huh, about twenty minutes. 
Okay, now group number four, question number four. Let's continue with Rina. What is Miss Smith's hobby? What is her hobby? It's, it's hobby is growing flowers in a garden. Mm -hmm. She has, <coughs> yes. Did you say it's hobby? What? Her is growing flowers in a, a garden. It's growing, okay. yes, growing flowers in, in their garden. Okay, thank you. And then next one, Sulma, what does Miss Smith do in the evenings? What is the answer, Sulma? Uh, he, he, uh, uh, va a la cama. Um, uh, but, like, in, uh, but in the evening, eso sería ya justo, ¿verdad? En la noche. Pero in the evening, así como. Uh, what does uh, she do? Take a golf Uh huh. Mm -hmm. She takes wealthy for a walk. Uh -huh. Okay, those are the answers. Do you have some questions? Thank you, Sulma. Do you have questions? No sé si tienen duda en la primera sobre por qué puse watch y no watches. Or if you have any other questions. Eh, este, en el caso, bueno, yo tenía entendido que uh -huh. con casi das she o, o das she, la respuesta tenía que ser she does, pero sí se puede así, she likes, agregarle una S al verbo. That is the common way to say it. Utilizamos das, porque sí escuché que lo dijiste con das, like she does like, algo así, ¿verdad? Das se utiliza de esa manera, pero solo cuando uno está haciendo énfasis en una respuesta. Como que yo diga, you don't like hot dogs, you don't like hot dogs. Y tú vienes y quieres cambiarme lo que yo digo y hacer énfasis en que sí, sí le gustan. Entonces ya podría decir, I do like hot dogs, pero solo es cuando alguien está como haciendo énfasis, nada sería, más. Sería más que todo para preguntas de sí, no. Questions and negative answers. Uh -huh. Ajá, but not in the affirmative statements. And talking about this, en esta de acá, en la primera que puse watch, it's because I have to, es porque tengo el to. Entonces, el to elimina la regla. Entonces, she likes to go jogging and, y ese es el otro verbo, and watch the sunrise. Por eso ninguno de los dos tiene la S, porque el to elimina la S en el segundo o tercer verbo. So, that is why. Uh -huh. Doubts. Ajá, uh -huh. Una pregunta, uh, growing flowers eh, sería como plantar flores. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Porque yes. growing, ¿qué significa? Grow. significa plantar? No, grow is like something that is becoming bigger and bigger and bigger, like babies. Babies grow. So growing. Como... Growing. Me ver crecer. Es como plantar. Ajá. O plantar sus flores. Or to plant flowers could be another possibility. 
Okay, gracias. Okay, you're welcome. So a little review. Now that we have mentioned that, let's have a little review about what we study this in this unit. Okay, review number one, simple present. So remember, we have two versions of simple present. We have this version or group number one with do, and this is the formula, what you see in green, subject, verb, and complement. The first group is compound. The primer grupo está compuesto, is compound by they, we, you, I, and plural nouns. Here you have examples. Can you can you read the examples, Nehemias, please, for version number one? Affirmative sentences, negative sentences, and questions. Uh, I call me customers. I have meeting. I don't go to church. I don't eat pupusas. Do mm -hmm. you go to church on Friday? Do you Thanks. eat pupusas? Correct. Thank you, Nehemiah. So that is group number one, right? Esa sería una versión. Do. And you have the second version or version uh, does. The formula is subject, verb with S and complement. And here you have the subjects. He, she, it, and singular nouns. And you have examples about the structures. Can you read the examples, Joanna, please? Javier watches movies at night. Javier mm -hmm. plays soccer with my friends. She doesn't sleep in the afternoon. She doesn't drive a car. Does she lie with her grandpa? Does he go to the on the weekends? Does he go to the, <laughs> I made a mistake, to the beach, <laughs> for example, on the weekends? Okay, this is a review. Do you have a question? That solo es como un review, un repaso. No sé si quieren preguntar algo about simple present. No. Okay, so how much and how many? Really quick. How much and how many? Okay. One moment. Okay. How much? And the other one, how many? Okay, how much? Rene, is it for countable or non countable nouns? How much? Count. How much is for no countable noun? Yes. Okay. So we have this one for non count nouns. And how many is the opposite, right? We use it with That's correct. count nouns. Okay. Today, this review is a little bit more about the answers, the type of answers that you can give. I'm going to give you some examples. Okay, can you give me two examples using how much? Anyone. I just need if you could give me two, two examples or one, one question with how much. I'm going to add mine. Does anyone have one idea? One question using how much? Any question? Uh -huh. Yes, any questions? Uh, how much meal do you use in your cereal? Okay, thank you. So how much? 
meal to use in your cereal. Okay, thank you. So how much? How much water does the glass have? Okay, I have this. I have water in the glass. Ooh, I have to be careful. Okay, so I can say the glass, the glass, this is the answer, has a lot, right? A lot, look at the glass, a lot of water. Now this, compare the water, the liquid, this glass and this. Option number two, the glass has some, the glass has some, some water, some, okay? That is another option. And now this, let me just drink some, some water. One moment. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry. Now look at this, compare. Okay, so now you can say the glass has little, water. The glass has little, little water. Okay. This one, a lot. And this, a little water. Yes? No? Do you understand? Okay, you have these options for non-count nouns. A lot, some, little. Okay, now many, many is with count nouns. I'm going to give you the same version, but with many. How many, many, Friends, do you have? Option number one, I have many, a lot is the same. I have many or a lot of friends. Okay, now I'm going to give you the equivalent to this, but with many. How many friends do you have? I have some, some friends, okay, some. And now a little in this version will be, I have, I have few friends. This is the version for many, and the other one is the version for much. Okay, little is para non-count nouns. Few is para count nouns. Okay, es lo mismo, pero esta es la versión de, de count nouns. Yes, no? Okay. Little, little by little. Este tema tiene bastantes derivaciones, es como pueden ver, por eso les he ido dando un poquito cada día, pero después lo van a ir viendo a una manera más superior, ¿ok? But here you have options, si quieren decir some or few, I have few friends because I can count friends. Little with non-count nouns. Ok, now please create one question with how many or how much? One question with how many or how much? That is what we will, we will do in this, in this moment.
Are you ready, Rafa? Ya la tienes, Rafa. No. Hey, no, todavía no. no. Ah, okay. <laughs> Let me know when you have it. Send it by chat because some of you are going to ask the question, but not, not all of you. How many songs do you have, for example? Where? In your phone or on the computer? But yes, that is, that is correct. Just add the complement, Rafa. Okay, so we will start with Daisy. Daisy, ask Rafa. Ask your question to Rafa, please. Oh, how many cars do you have? Uh -huh. I have one car. One car, yes. Okay, Rafa, ask Vladimir. Thank you, Daisy. Um, Vladimir, how much coffee do you drink in one day? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, a lot. Let's see. Yes, a lot. Mm -hmm. I take five, uh, six. Six cups. <laughs> Cup. uh <-huh>. Yes. <laughs> Coffee. Wow, ah, okay. Yeah, it is a lot. Maybe because you wake up very early. Maybe that is why you drink yes. a lot of coffee. Okay. Now, yes. Vladimir, can you ask Doris? Doris, no sé si ya agarró un poquito la idea, Doris. ¿Cómo se siente? Más o menos. No, ahí le ayudamos. <laughs> okay, Vladimir, ask uh, Doris. Doris, how much do you feel uh, how? Repeat one more time. How much? How much? Uh, no. How many pets do you have? Pets. The mascot. Yes. Ah, okay. Yes. How many pets do you have? Just activate the microphone, Doris. Please. Se desactiva. Bed, ¿qué significa? No recuerdo bien. Pet. Pet. The animals in your house. Dogs or cats. Doris. Pet. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. eh, excuse. Eh, sorry. Repeat, please. How many pet do you have? <laughs> yes. Uh, I I have mm -hmm. one 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 dog. Yes. Okay. Now, Doris, do you have your question, Doris? Yes. Si tiene su pregunta ya. No. Okay, Doris. Me avisa. No problem. And you, Marce, do you have your question? Yes, teacher. Okay. Can you ask Mario, please? <laughs> Mario, how many dogs do you have? Mm -hmm. Sorry, dogs. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't have dogs. Uh -huh, correct. You have two, Jenny. Marce. Okay, ask the other question too. Mm -hmm. What is it? How much soda do you drink? Mm -hmm. 
I I don't drink soda. Okay. All right. Now Mario yes, ask ask Rene. Please. Rene. How many hamacas uh, do you have in your house? Hammocks. That is the English. Um, uh -huh. Hammocks. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hammocks. 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 I never heard that before. Really? That's, um, that's a maca. Well, uh -huh, that's right. Um, well, I have just one in my house. They are very comfortable. One, okay. I have just one hammer at house. Okay, at my thank house. you. Now, Rene, ask Rina, please. It can be any, right? Uh, many or mm -hmm. much. Well, let's see. Um, how many days off do you have from work? Do you say how Kathy? How many days off do you have? Mm, no lo entiendo muy bien cuánto. Days, days off, días libres. Days off. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, oh, esa parte no la entendía. Mm -hmm. um, I have one day. day. Oh. Oh. One day off. Uh -huh. Okay, now Rina, can you ask Marisela? Y luego sí vamos con usted, Doris. And you read your question. Okay. How how many how does she work a week? One more time. How many? How many hours does she work a week? Okay. How many hours? And hours. Hours. Ah, cuántas horas trabaja durante la semana? Does she? Uh -huh. Does she work? Uh -huh. I I work and she in this case, Maricela. She she works. She, uh -huh. she works. She works. Uh, 14 14 4 yes okay for the ones who are already finished the ones who are already finished los que ya ya terminaron verdad algunos de ustedes que ya preguntaron continue here okay this is what we will do next you have to write six six negative sentences about you and six negative sentences about a colleague, okay? Para los que ya terminaron de hacer su pregunta, pueden seguir acá. Tienen que escribir seis oraciones negativas de ustedes y seis oraciones negativas de un colega, okay? About a colleague. And send it by chat, o me mandan la picture on WhatsApp. Okay, so let's continue with Maricela. Sorry, Doris. Ask Nehemias, please. How many years do you have, Nehemias? Okay, Doris, that question will be correct, but we don't use how many with H, Doris. Si se recuerda, con el verb B, utilizamos la edad. El verb B es el que se usa. How old are you? How old are you? Uh -huh. Change it. Change the question. So, Marisela, ask Nehemias, please. 
hot hot many um, lamps in the house and your house do you have in your house can you repeat one more time Maricela, please how many mm -hmm. do you have how many lamps lamps in do you your have <laughs> do you repeat have? repeat after me uh -huh. how many lamps do you okay. have have many lamps do you have uh -huh. in, in in the house uh -huh. in the house or in your house okay maricela thank you i have around uh, 15 lamps mm-hmm correct okay name, yes ask nelson please nelson uh, how much fruit do you eat a day okay. how much fruit okay. how much fruit okay. um, i i eat i eat um, two to fruit and day okay nelson okay. Eh, 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 eh. sorry solo voy a, porque si no me escucho me distraigo cuando sea ese fruit puede ser contable y no contable verdad si lo tomamos como no contable no utilice número no utilice número solo a lot some fruit o little pero si fuera contable como, como ya clasificando la fruta, entonces ahí sí, I eat two fruits, like sweet, sweet fruit, bitter fruit, pero solo en general fruta no se puede contar, en general. Ajá, solo I eat, yes, I eat some fruit. Quedaría así. Ok, Nelson, ask Mauricio, please. As Mauricio Castaneda. Okay. Mauricio, uh, how much cheese do you eat? How much cheese? Cheese. cheese. How much cheese? Cheese. Do you eat? I I eat a lot of cheese mm -hmm. in my dinner. Yes, correct. Okay, so let me see. Who am I missing? ¿Quiénes faltan aún? Que no han preguntado o hecho su pregunta. Aparte de Doris. Katia? Yo. Just you. Yo. Solo tú. Creo, creo que sí. Okay, so Mauricio. Mauricio and wait, Zulma, Zulma and Joanna. Okay. So, Katia, Katia, please ask Zulma. And Zulma, you ask Joanna. Okay. How many fries do you, do you eat? Perdón. How many fries? Do you eat? No entiendo la primera. How many fries? Fries, papas. Ajá. Fry, fries. Yes, uh, 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 um, How many? How many? Um, mucho. I'm going to I'm going to share with you the the whiteboard. How many? With many you have these possibilities for a lot, many, a lot, some um, is uh, like how many? Uh, how, how many a lot? It uh, with. How many is only for the question, Zulma? 
Solo para la pregunta. To answer, I eat. Uh, sería, I, I, I eat uh, a lot of, of rice. Uh, fries. Fries. Right. Yes. Uh -huh. I eat a lot of fries. I eat a lot of fries. Yes, that's better. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Katia. Now, Zulma, your question for uh, Joanna. Okay. How many students in the classroom? How many students are there? In the classroom. In are the classroom. There? We are uh -huh. 17 students. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can say we are or there are. That could be another possibility. Okay, now let me see. Joa, please ask. Who was the first one? Uh, Daisy. Joa, ask Daisy, please. Okay, how much sugar do you put in your coffee? Sería tu tu cup. But sugar, sugar in the coffee. Uh, to go, to go, uh, the sugar in the coffee. Two cups, cups son las tazas. How much sugar do you put in your coffee? Sugar in the uh, coffee. Put uh, the sugar in the coffee. How much? Cuánto, please. A lot, some, o pueden ser las uh, cucharadas. Two. Two, y sería teaspoons. Son cucharadas, cucharaditas. I put... Two teaspoons. Teaspoons of sugar in my cup. Can you repeat, please? I put, I put two teaspoons of sugar in the cup. Yes. Uh -huh. Thank you, Joanna. Thank you, Daisy. Doris, ready, Doris? I I don't hear you in this moment. Simple anemia, brother. This time, Rafa. Rafa, Doris is going to ask you a question. How many oh. do you have? One more time, please. How many fr friends do you have? Okay. Um, friends in Spanish? Friends. Amigos, friends. Uh, friend, uh, friend, friends. Mm -hmm. um, I have some friends. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Doris. That one is correct. Thank you, Rafa. Okay, so now the sentences. Now the sentences. Who has finished? Is there someone who already finished the 12 sentences? No? I'm going to check your sentences, Marcia. Thank you.
teacher, entonces doesn't like dogs es lo mismo que no tener dogs. Um, yes, en la que enviaste no estaba el verbo, solo lo agregué. Ah, uh -huh. sí, porque no puede ser doesn't do, no, doesn't have. No puede ser así, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh. yes. Uh, ah, okay. yes. Que tener, o sea, me refiero a que si no tener perros es lo mismo de no gustarlo. No, no, no it's different. Yeah, in that case you have to use have. Pero como no estaba el verbo, pensé que era like, pero era have. Entonces sería da, does not have. Does not uh -huh. have. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Yes, you're welcome. Okay, is there anybody ready to read the sentences? Or Marce, can you read yours? You already finished. Oh, you're missing three, right, Marce? Three more sentences. Nehemias, how are you doing? Have you finished? Uh, yes. Okay, can you read the sentences, please? I don't work home office. Um, okay, use I don't work from home. From home. Uh -huh. From home. I don't drive to my work. Uh, I don't go to the gym every day. I don't work in Saturday. I don't drink beer weekly. Mm -hmm. And my colleagues doesn't work in house. My colleagues doesn't use Computer, computer. Uh, my colleague uh, doesn't walk at work. To um, work. To work. Mm -hmm. To work. My colleague doesn't like pupusas. And my colleague doesn't have pets. Okay, Nehemias, thank you. When you mentioned Saturday, did you say on Saturday or in? In Saturday. Which one did you use, Nehemias? On or in? I, I don't hear you. <laughs> Which one? Uh, on. On, uh-huh. On is for, for days. By the okay. way, uh, just a little comment, a general comment. Remember you have this word, thank you. I, I've seen it in the chat. So you have two options. You can say thank you. And if you don't want to say it like that, you have to use the yes at the end, guys. Thank you or thanks. That's the other possibility. So, si utilizan la manera corta, agreguen el yes. At the end, thanks or thank you. Okay, I'm going to take the, the attendance again. Okay, so we will start with Daisy. Daisy Yesenia, thank you. Doris de Castaneda. Present. Thank you, Doris. Let's continue with it is Joanna. Present. Right. Marcela Morales. Present. Thank you, Mario Cruz. Present. Okay. Katia Hernandez. Present. 
Okay, thank you. Lisa del Carmen, Marisela del Carmen. Present. Okay, thank you. Mauricio Casaneda. Present. Okay, Present. Minet Rivera. Nehemías Regalo. Present. Okay, all right, thank you. Nelson. Nelson Alberto. Nelson René. Present. Rafael, thank you. Present. Now René, René Guardado. Present. Rina, all right. Trina Espinosa. Present teacher. You, Rina. Rosy Melendez, no. Vladimir Rodas. Present. Thank you, and Janira Lorena. Present. Ajá. Zulma, Zulma Lorena. I'm sorry. Thank you. Ya les combiné los nombres. Okay, thank you. Um, one more comment. Remember the platform? Yo creo que ya casi todos ya lo hicieron. Todavía tengo algunos que, que no. Así que, please, si lo pueden actualizar today or tomorrow morning, Please do it, okay, section one of the platform. So I just wanted to give you that comment. Tomorrow we start the second unit. Pronto ya van a empezar a estudiar otro tiempo. Ya vamos a dejar simple present en el pasado y ya van a empezar otro tiempo. Que yo sé que ya se aburrieron de simple present ya mucho, ¿verdad? Ya quieren otro, así que ya vamos a ver otro y vamos a combinar los dos. Okay, so soon you're going to see another one. You're going to see another one. Okay, so Katia, let me see. I don't drink alcohol, I don't dance, I listen to music. Mm -hmm. Yes, Marisela doesn't drink coffee, Jose doesn't talk, Jairo doesn't drive. Mm -hmm. Doesn't like meetings, Migna doesn't write reports, Carolina doesn't send emails. Yes, Katia, they are fine. Some of you sent it by, okay, uh -huh. in the chat. Okay, thank you, Mauricio, Nelson. I'm going to check them in the next minutes. But for now, I think we will stop here, guys. I think it's time for you to go to bed. Do you have questions before you go? Do this. Questions? No? Mario, si te quedarás entonces? Yes, I can. Okay. Okay, everyone. So you may leave. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Sweet dreams. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye, guys. Bye, Rene. One moment, Maria. Give me one second. I'm going to I'm going to help you, Sulma. Don't worry. Okay. So Mario, how are you? Good. ¿Qué tal va el trabajo? No sé cómo es estresante. Stressful. Sí, le voy a ser sincero. Eh, ¿Ah? Esta clase ha estado como muy, muy centrado porque ahora me dieron una PC del trabajo y he estado pasando todo a la PC porque he tenido una energía y todo. Ah, really? Sí. Ah, ok. Sí, igual Yanni me dijo de que no se sentía bien, entonces ya, ya no participó. A veces afectan los problemas o el trabajo que uno tiene. Aunque quiera estudiar, no, no se puede. Pero podemos aprovechar este, estos minutos, Mario, y yo te puedo ayudar con al, algo que quieras reforzar, algún tema que sientas que se te hace más difícil, o si fuera conversación, pronunciation, podemos utilizarlo en cualquier cosa que tú desees. Sí, es más que, más que todo el problema <risa> que siento que tengo es de que... Uh -huh a tiempo de estudiar uh -huh. el problema que tengo ¿no? porque en realidad todos los temas que hemos ido viendo yo los he ido 
pues sí la he ido entendiendo bastante bien. Pero igual Ajá. si no se practica, tengo el detalle que a veces se me olvida en algunas partes. Ajá. Sí pasa, siento yo, de que se le olvida a uno, como es otro idioma, las palabras y la pronunciación es distinto. Pues entonces, si quieres, podemos tratarlo de hacer a modo de conversación. An English conversation. <ríe> sí, ¿no? Maybe. Probamos. Vamos a ver qué tal nos va. Ok. So, mm, let me see. What do you like to do, Mario? Mm. Que me gusta hacer, creo que. Ajá, bueno. yes. Yes. Mm. I do. Sería I do, correcto. I like to. I, do, I like to. Mm -hmm. I like to. Um, watch. Uh, videos in the YouTube. Mm, okay. What mm. videos? What videos do you watch? Mm, I watch videos uh, of um, gaming and anime. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Is that your favorite hobby? Mm. Or what is your hobby, Mario? Mm. Yeah. No sé cómo se dice, como jugar juegos o algo así. Playing. I like ah, to play video games. I like to play games. Do you have a PlayStation? Or what is the console that you have? Uh, I don't have um, con a console. Mm -hmm. You use your phone or yes, what? Yes. On the yes. phone. Yes, okay. I, 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 yeah. I play games in the phone. In the mm. cell phone. What games do you play? What are the names of the games? I like um, Clash Royale. Uh, that one is popular. Very yeah. popular. <laughs> it's all, uh -huh. it's all game. Okay. What uh, other game? Um, Free Fire. Pero para decir, pero ese como para decir But, es poco, es poco lo que lo juego. I play a little time. Porque como no se puede contar el tiempo. I play little time. Tiempo. Sería poco tiempo o pequeño tiempo. Little, en este caso sería de poco. Poco. Uh -huh. Ajá, uh -huh. ah, ok. How many hours do you play a day? How many hours? Mm. Mm. I play video games. Um, One hour, one hour. One hour a day. Every day. What time do you play games? Because you have to work, you study. <laughs> What time do you play? Mm -hmm. The, the time. No. What time? A qué hora? What time mm -hmm. do you play? Eleven p.m. At eleven. <laughs> so, so what time do you go to sleep? Repeat, please. <laughs> what time do you go to sleep? Five or. 
But a qué hora? A qué hora te duermes? What time do you go to sleep? Eh, Piense que la verdad tengo problema con esa, esa parte de los números, con del, 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 del 10 en adelante. Siempre ahí, siempre me tengo ese problema que el, el, el 11 sí que es 11, pero ya para decir 12 y 13 ah. siempre me confundo con, con 20, 30 y 40. Con eso te confundes. Ah, a veces me confundo con eso. Por ejemplo, para decir 12, no sé si es. Uh, el que sería ¿cómo well, sería? 11 no, well. well, ¿Eh? 12 el 12 uh -huh. 12 se escribe así pero se pronuncia 12 uh -huh. Uh -huh. sí, aparte lo tengo que estudiar porque siempre uh -huh. tengo <risa> cuando sí. me, si me mencionan de, del, 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 del 12 al 19 ahí me hacen la... ah, okay. todo eso pues sí. todos esos tienen en común que terminan en tin. Todos los que mm. mencionas. 13 y luego ya es el 4, es 4. 14. El 5, 15. El 12 y el 12 son diferentes. Ajá. Yes. Llevan como un tipo de orden o secuencia que siguen. Así como. Eso no, por eso me confunde, porque no lleva la secuencia. Ah, ok. Entonces querías decir a las 12, que te dormías a las 12. Uh -huh. No. Sí, a las 12. Ah, ok. So you can say, so, si well, no, puedes utilizar la palabra midnight, que es medianoche. Uh -huh. Tal vez esa no se te sí. olvida. Uh -huh. Así que puedes utilizar uh -huh. esa. Sería así: at midnight. Night. Es como middle of the night. Midnight. Lo que vimos en el. Ah, ajá. La, en el, el módulo día. pasado. Sí. De que sí, veíamos cómo utilizar at, on, in. Es lo que, eso es lo que le digo. Que la práctica es que me hace falta. Es lo práctico. Ajá. Porque son cosas que ya, ajá, ya se vieron, ¿verdad? Pero sí. se le olvidan a uno. Uh -huh. Por eso dicen que la práctica es el maestro. De tanto que uno lo practica y lo practica algo, se le queda. Pero yo siento de que me entiendes bastante bien lo que pregunto. Diría que un 90% de la conversación me entendiste y también lograste contestar. Así que eso es buenísimo. Ya, nivel 2 y ya hablando, es súper bueno. Imagínate cuando estés en, en nivel 5. Nivel 6, ya van a poder manejar más tiempos, más cosas. Y lo que, lo que, lo que me ayuda bastante es en el, el trabajo, donde yo trabajo, todo es en inglés. Todo. Really? Sí, ah, es como, okay. como los dueños son americanos, norteamericanos. Uh -huh. todos los archivos, todos tienen que ir en inglés. Los correos, los correos en inglés. ¿verdad? Ah, o sea que tú sí recibes emails en inglés. Sí, sí lo único que... Me ha apoyado siempre en el traductor porque Ajá, como, eso antes, es. pero ahora ya voy entendiendo un poco ya lo que, lo que voy viendo. Ah, pues sí es necesario que aprendas inglés para que entiendas más lo que sí. envían o dicen y todo eso. Es que todo para más oportunidades, me dicen ellos. Porque si no... Más opciones. Así que sí, la tarea que te quedaría entonces es que practiques los números. Ajá. <risa> si no, en la próxima sesión vamos a hacer eso. Okay, Mario. In that case, we're going to stop here. Nice to talk to you. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks. Night. You're welcome.